What is the difference between permutation and combination? Let's say you wanted to know how many two-letter word arrangements you could form from the letters A, B, C without repeating any letter. There are three options that could occupy the first letter of each word. And since we're not repeating any letter, then that means that there are two options left that could occupy the second spot. Notice how the initial three arrangements now became six. Also, if you look closely at these words we've just formed, you will notice that there are some words that contain the exact same letters, just arranged in a different order. In permutation, this is allowed because no matter what, we want to find all possible arrangements. But in combination, this is not allowed. Each arrangement must be unique, and that means no other arrangement must have the exact same letters, whether they are arranged in the same order or not. Here's the formula for permutation, and here's the formula for combination. This term here takes care of taking only one out of all duplicate arrangements. Okay, so here's one for you. How many four-letter word arrangements can you form from the letters A, B, C, D, and E without repeating any letter? I'll make a community post with a picture of the answer. Subscribe.